all right hello everyone welcome back to the channel today i am going to show you one quick lightroom trick which is uh, selecting uh, areas of a picture using luminous masking so this is a quick way to select the sky and you can bring back more detail in the sky and all that so let me show you something about this image real quick so this is where i started from with this image and this is where i'm, I'm at now the it was a little underexposed, so I brought up the shadows and stuff. But in the process of doing that globally, I lost detail in the skies. So, um, so I'm going to select the skies real quick and uh, put details back in. All right, so let's do this. So you get a brush, and in the old school days, you would go to um, Auto Mask and then make the brush small and try to make sure the masking works. But today, uh, with the Luminance Select 2, you don't have to go through all that. Um, you, I can just go straight here, make it big enough. I like to bring my exposure all the way down just so I can see what is brushing over. You can also just use the O key, which is the overlay. It'll give you the red masking, but I just wanna see everything. So I'm just gonna go like that my exposure is all the way down, that's why it's looking black like that. So when I get close to the head, I'm going to try to avoid the head for now. But for the horizon, I, I don't care, it can, it can go over the horizon. So just went twice back and forth, make sure everything is in. Now I'm going to make the, the brush a little bit smaller. And I'm going to get close to the head. It's okay if it hits the head a little bit, but just don't bring it down all the way to the face so all right so now that we've we've selected the sky it's not accurate because you can see that it's gone into the the uh, the horizon here the the top of the mountains here let me hit the O key for you to see the overlay and you can see that the the red has extended all the way down here we don't want that okay so we're going to get rid of that. So to get rid of that, all you have to do is scroll down and come to range mask, go to luminance. And then when you uh, slide, when you move the slider to the right, you only select the stuff that is very bright in your selection area. So in this selection area, when I do that, it's going to only pick up the sky and it's going to leave the, the, the top of the trees alone. So watch this, as I move it, boom, all of a sudden the red is gone from the landscape and it's just, it's just the sky. You don't even have to m minus anything here because it's just going for the sky. And that's it. So I will hit the O back again and now I'll go and do whatever I want to it. Uh, probably going to reduce the exposure by a little bit, like a lot, something like that. I'm gonna give it some contrast. And I mean, and however you edit your sky, you know, I'm gonna give it some dehaze because I want that, uh, the clouds to look, and I'm gonna make it nice and warm because it's like sunset time. So, that's it, I've been able to select my sky by itself and uh, you know, edit the sky. And that was quick and easy. And uh, that's trick number one for today. So I will see you tomorrow for trick number two. I'm going to try to do this for 30 days. I know it's a stretch, but I have a feeling that if I put a timeline on it, I will be able to uh, uh, finish doing these. There will be different tricks is going to be different levels some will be very simple and some might be something that you know you might learn something from even if you're not a beginner so i hope this benefited you and um, do all to subscribe and come back tomorrow for the next one all right peace